using a multimeter. A multimeter is a very useful tool for a range of purposes such as testing the effectiveness of a connection or strength of a battery. In this video we will have a look at how to use a multimeter to measure the current, voltage and resistance of a circuit. There are two types of currents that circuits are categorized into, a direct current or an alternating current. Before we can begin measuring we need to adjust the multimeter to read the type of current that the circuit is using. In this video, we are measuring a car battery. Car batteries are chemical based sources of electricity and use a direct current. So what we need to do is switch the multimeter to read a direct current, not an alternating current. To measure voltage, we need to turn the dial on the multimeter to V. We then touch the red probe to the positive terminal and the black probe to the negative terminal we should immediately get a reading of how many volts the battery is producing. We will now check the resistance of a circuit using the multimeter. Turn the dial of the multimeter to ohms, which can be identified by the omega symbol. Placing a probe on either side of a component or circuit will allow us to check the resistance between those two points. If the multimeter is reading close to zero ohms, there is a good current through the circuit. However, if it is reading infinity or giving an unnecessarily high resistance that should not be in the circuit, it may mean your circuit is damaged in some way. This is an excellent way to measure the continuity of a circuit or to ensure that components are making a good connection. Lastly, we will measure the current. On the multimeter, there are three or more sockets. The black socket traditionally is for the black plug. However, there are two red sockets. One socket is for measuring currents below 200 milliamps, and the other is for measuring currents below 10 amps. We can check the labels on the multimeter to determine which socket is which. If you don't know how large the current is, it is always better to overestimate it by measuring it with the 10 amp socket than to underestimate it with the 200 milliamp socket. Using the 200 milliamp socket to measure a current that is higher than 200 milliamps will damage the multimeter. With that in mind, let's begin our measurement from 10 amps, and if it reads lower than 200 milliamps, we can switch to the 200 milliamp socket. To measure the current, we must first break the circuit and then run the current through the multimeter rather than attaching the multimeter alongside the circuit. The best place to do this is at the connections that are easy to remove and replace. If your multimeter reads a negative number, that means you have the polarities reversed. 